I'm in the small Muskegon County village of Fruitport now. That dangerous situation uh, to peril the streets there. This is new video just coming in, shot just moments ago from that area. Part of Fruitport shut down to outsiders right now because of that massive storm damage all around the area. 24 Hour News 8's Henry Erb was live there last night at 10 and 11. He is there this afternoon, staying on top of this story, providing our coverage. Henry, what is going on there this afternoon? Well, I got to tell you, we were here last night. It looked pretty bad. It looks a lot worse in the daylight. Take a look at this. We're on, we're on Brooks Road, uh, just on the edge of Fruitport. We've got, on this one little street, we've got uh, poles down, wires down all over the place, more down the street, way down the street, uh, more trees down blocking the road, and beyond that, we have homes that have been damaged. I want to take a look at this because we've seen a lot of this. We've seen trees that have been snapped off and topped off, but here is something we've seen a lot of. Entire groves of trees just pushed right over. The uh, earth just peeled back when the trees went down. And right over here, and we just heard uh, train saws uh, just a moment ago, these people are in the process of recovery. They're trying to get uh, trees off of their house. Not too much damage. These folks were home last night when the storm hit. Couldn't see nothing. Pure rain, a lot of wind. Pretty scary. Yeah, couldn't even see out the front window when the rain and the wind were blowing. Next thing we knew, we looked out trees and telephone poles were down, so power's out. It's quite a mess out here. There's been so much damage out here to catch our attention. We haven't even been in the village of Fruitport yet. We're going to get there in a short time, and we're going to bring you a lot more at 5 and 6 and online. Back to you.